Hello CPCC students. In this video we are going to review how to create new pages and manage new pages in Google Site Tools. Um, if you've watched the prior videos, we're on our, our demo site. Um, at the top you have a couple of options. Create new page, edit page, more actions, and site settings. We're looking at the create new page option. Click on that, and on the next page, you'll get a screenshot that gives you a couple of options. Create a web page, create a dashboard, announcements, file cabinet, and list. Each of these sort of has its own structured approach to creating and managing the page. We're just going to go with the web page for now. We're going to give it a name. Let's call this Chapter 1. And you'll notice it automatically down here creates the web address, basically, the structure where that page is going to be created. Any spaces will be filled in with a hyphen, as you can notice here. If you want to change that and make it something custom, you can hit Change and do that. Um, you have the option below it to put the page at the top level or put the page under Welcome or under another location. So, for example, we could create a Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and then maybe we come in and add pages for Chapter 1, Lesson 1, and we would want the Lesson 1 page to be under Chapter 1. In fact, we'll do that in the next part, but for now, we're just going to put this Chapter 1 at the top level. In fact, let's do this. Let's do, let's make it Chapters, and then hit Create the Page. All right, so we have the chapters page that we created. We can change the title. We can add some text. Again, this is the, the page editing uh, stuff that uh, you can actually watch another video tutorial about the page editing if you're interested. But after we've created our page, we hit Save. Now, we're going to add a, uh, if we come back out here to our welcome, oh, notice it did not add it to the navigation menu. You have to do that uh, personally. You have to specifically add pages that you create onto the navigation menu. Uh, there's another video tutorial on editing your navigation menu and if you want to do that I recommend uh, that you watch that video. The reason for this is uh, let's say that you have a major project or a big website you're building and it has 50 uh, maybe a hundred web pages on it. You wouldn't want a navigation menu with a hundred links on it. It just becomes unmanageable. So this allows you to personally choose the ones that you want. Um, now you'll notice that because I created a chapters um, item and uh, web page and added it to the site and it's not over here, um, I can access it off the recent site navigation or I can actually access it off the site map and you'll see your chapters page listed on the site map. Now we can add uh, another web page and uh, let's see now we've had a chapters folder, it's had a a chapter one um, not folder file at a chapter one web page and uh, we're going to put this under uh, chapters create a page so there's chapter one and uh, I can come back to chapters and I can also add again just building on the structure I can create another page and call it uh, chapter two and put it under chapters again And there it's created that page. So if I look back at my site map again, you'll notice I'm building a structure. Chapters, Chapter 1, Chapter 2. And each of these are just web pages that you can edit. Uh, if I go under my Chapter 1 page, I could add another sub page to it. Uh, I could edit this. I could do any, any of the basic uh, site management uh, that I want to do. So that uh, um, is uh, everything that you're going to need to know about creating new pages. Uh, I would recommend that following this you go and, and watch the video tutorial on um, managing your navigation menu because it is applicable. If I create pages and want them to show up over here, that's important. So go watch that video and thanks for watching this one.